Monarch is a new strategy RPG with familiar features. It was worked on by former Persona developers before they jumped ship to create their new brand. The story follows the canonically nameless and voiceless main character as his school is engulfed in a demonic bubble. Now, students are falling prey to the mist that is brainwashing their minds. The main hero almost falls victim to this mist as well before a maniacal stuffed rabbit grants him incredible power. Together he and his fellow students that he meets along the way will have to work to save the school one floor at a time. The characters are fun and the English voice acting works well, all except for Vanitas who is cringeworthy to put it mildly. The downside to the characters is that the interaction is limited. There's no real social link system and everything takes place on the school campus which looks very copy and paste. Once you've seen one room, you've seen them all. Graphically, Monarch isn't up to snuff with modern games either. Reminds me of a PS2 remaster, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Graphics are not everything. Now, there aren't dungeons in the normal sense. As I said with the story, you clear one floor out at a time with a boss-like rush of monsters waiting at the end. There are no random battles, but you can dial up a fight if you want it. It's not that impressive of a model. However, the strategy gameplay is compelling if not somewhat simple. Your units have an open area to run around in, and all moves likewise have a range. Some can encompass multiple targets if positioned just so. Also, if you have allies around and you use melee attacks, you can trigger combos. Leveling is a bit odd as you share spirit points awarded after battle. On your spirit board, you can gain skills. Unlocking a skill will also raise your level in a typical manner, including stat increases. It's a bit hard to get used to, but I quite enjoyed my time with both the leveling system and the combat system the further I got in the game. Monarch was a bit of a letdown at first. It had all the makings of a great semi-independent Persona game. Most of the ingredients were there, but a lot of the key ones were missing, and the mixture was just a bit off. I think it all comes down to time and money. If this does well, I'm excited to see what a potential higher budgeted Monarch game could be like. It's a good strategy RPG for now, with an interesting story that is weighed down by a lot of needless backtracking and uninspired set designs. Did you like that video? If you did, please like, subscribe, and spread the good word of Reaction Examiner. If you want to read more of my stuff, you can find a plethora of my articles over at The Gamer and Game Rant. All of those links and more are in the show notes below. Thanks for watching!